Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft resource pack 1.8 plus with GIMP. So, um, yeah, GIMP is sort of like a picture editor sort of thing, like Photoshop. And I'll just show you how you can edit your own texture pack with it. So, basically, you will have uh, two links. You will have one for WinRec, because you'll need it, uh, for uh, downloading the resource pack file. So there's 32-bit, 64-bit, pick the one that uh, is right for your computer, if you have a 64-bit computer, just pick that. Um, pretty straightforward, Mac, he picked this one, Linux picked that one. The other link, which is also in the description, is for just the resource pack itself. So once you click on it, you'll be brought to this page. Uh, just click on it, um, and then once you click on it, I already have installed it but you'll see at the bottom left that uh, has started so I'm just gonna cancel that uh, once uh, once you have installed it it'll um, show up in your downloads file which is uh, over here so it'll be in here so you can just like drag it onto your desktop over here and you'll have it say 1.8.1 it's fine because 1.8.3 is all about the bugs, so this will be compatible with 1.8.3. So, basically when you double click it, you'll have these two files. And the way I have them on my desktop right here, is you right click, and you click on extract here. And then it'll start loading and basically just, you know, put it over here. So, I'm assuming this is for Mac users. So basically you just go on assets, minecraft, uh, textures, and then you have the blocks. You have all these blocks, for some reason you can only see flowers. It's basically the same thing right here. Uh, I'm just using this because I'm using windows, so uh, you go on assets, sets, whatever. Uh, textures, uh, you can do anything, items, so items would be like, uh, yeah, an apple right here. Um, it's basically the items you hold in your hand. You have paintings. You can edit your own paintings. Uh, it's really weird how this one works because it's like one picture, but you have to put it in the individual like areas. So this is like the back. It's really weird, but that's how it is. And there's some items that you have to edit separate parts. So like if you look at the bed, you have the bed, feet, and bed, feet side, bed, feet top. It's really weird, but that's how it is. You can kind of see right there. So you have to uh, edit individual parts, and uh, it's pretty cool though. You can uh, make it HD. So um, there will be another link for GIMP. So another link in the description will be for GIMP. So GIMP.org/downloads/not-gimp.com, and you will click on this link right here. And it'll simply just, you know, download it. Just download it until uh, you get the icon in your desktop right here. And then you open it up and you get this sort of menu. So once you get this menu, you want to click on File, New, or Control N. And you just want to pick your uh, image size. So let's just go with this for a sec. Um, you could also just open an image if you wanted to. So if you go and open can click on uh, desktop right here so then you have all the stuff from your desktop and you go find default resource texture pack double click that go into sets minecraft uh, textures again let's go blocks uh, just go with bricks I can do it I'm not good at bricks but whatever it'll just open this basically and it's really really tiny so if you want to open your like toolbars and toolbox whatever you go on windows uh... toolbox layer brushes i'm pretty sure tools the toolbox is right here and the layer brushes should be somewhere in here um, or else it should just be in window and when you close it and you want to open and you just want to like have it open again just go on windows recent close docs and then it'll just be here so so basically you have this small brick let me just close the other window quickly don't need it a yeah, small brick so as you can see it's not like a lot of pixels you can tell it's pixelated 
and if you take a brush like it just really messes it up what you want to do is double click on it and then you bring the size down from 20 to 1 pixel exit out so now it's a lot smaller so you can see and you want to select the kind of pixel from this sort of blur to a square it's this perfect square now and you can just select your colors by clicking here and just pick any color you want really uh... It's just like just go quickly just you know you can just do this whatever um... so yeah that's pretty basic but if you wanna really work hard on your texture pack and maybe like make it HD what you could do is in fact go on image canvas size canvas size sorry about that so it, right now it's 16 by 16 pixels so that's probably like the lowest sort of uh... resolution you can get for it you can probably bring it to 64 by 64 which is HD and just click resize so then you have basically like a quarter not even a quarter let me just there you go so you can kinda see it now so what you do at this point is you would sort of make this a little bigger and then you just erase it and then you just start like a model of your own so for example I'm just gonna do this pretty quickly uh... yeah I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do this so I'm just gonna color it red and then just put like a bunch of weird lines in it this, I wouldn't do this on the real texture pack just just to show you guys that it works you could also, I think you can do this you can smudge it a little bit um, by using the smudge tool it just blurs it a little bit um, it's a pretty good tool actually um, especially when you put like a lot of details it just makes it blend in well or you could use the burn tool which really bright you know puts like a lot of light in you know I guess it burns uh. and uh... yeah to be honest this looks a lot more like some weird ore you find in like another but let's just go with that so what you want to do now is you want to go on you can save it if you want it's not going to do anything if you uh, save it in your resource pack folder because it doesn't you doesn't really open files like that it, it doesn't mess it up or anything so what you want to do is you want to go on export and you want to just keep it as brick.png it's going to ask you if you want to replace it you click on replace so then the previous brick model or design will be gone and it will be replaced with this one click export and you can just exit out of that so now what you want to do is just close GIMP you want to go on whether it depends on what you're using I don't know what it is for Mac but you want to go on your app data so you do percent uh, oh percent app data percent pretty sure for um, Windows 7 it's just like the bottom Windows start at the bottom left so yeah so you want to go on dot minecraft and resource packs alright so one thing I forgot to mention is you will actually have to use the extracted file for the texture pack so um, you cannot if you're using Windows you cannot use Mac OS X because it will not work it won't work at all so you will have to use this one and you will put it inside your resource pack folder from uh, app data dot minecraft I showed you, you just drag it in so then it creates a new creates a folder inside and then you go to minecraft you're gonna go to options resource pack it's gonna show up right here so you just wanna get rid of that put this one in so and pictures especially so basically once you got that you wanna click done let it load nothing much has changed alright so once you're in your world uh, it's a brand new world I guess it's a little laggier but I uh, just want to go look at your bricks so let's go in this brick so as you can see yes this also edits brick stairs anything that's related to bricks brick blocks so uh, you have bricks right here which I edited looks really weird you have the brick slabs also look quite weird and uh, what I find pretty what I find pretty cool is how they uh, automatically turn uh, 
like the original block into stairs. Uh, the only problem is that it sort of like gets cut off right there um, at certain areas. So uh, yeah, that's about it. And um, if you ever want to um, re-edit your texture pack or any blocks, you're gonna you're gonna have to close Minecraft. You're gonna have to take your texture pack and take it out because if Minecraft is still open. You will not be able to drag it out, so you have to turn off my uh, turn Minecraft off, uh, close it, and basically you sort of like edit it again, and you can just save it onto this again on your desktop. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So if this helped, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll be doing more tutorials. So stick around.